Hello and welcome to Slangy Scotland and this is number, sorry, episode 6 of our whiskey tasting um, series and it looks like Sasha wants in. Come here my girl. Mm, what's up? Yeah, you want some whiskey too. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, um, today, uh, the other day Katriona went and bought the Loch Lomond, this one here. The Loch Lomond Classic Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Um, and why I thought I'd jump in and do this one quickly is because I've never had it before. So this will literally be the first time. So Loch Lomond Whiskies is just outside of Dumbarton. Um, pretty much, uh, well, quite close to Loch Lomond really, pretty much on it. Um, and as far as I understand, they do mainly, they still distill mainly for blends and they also don't do any tours. Although apparently it is possible, if you ask very nicely, to have um, a wee visit. Um, so I don't know very much about them. So let's let's read their label. Since 1814, the Loch Lomond distillery has been producing the finest single malt whiskey. Situated on the banks of Loch Lomond, it takes its name from the most picturesque and famous of all Scot uh, Scotland's lochs, often referred to as one of the world's natural wonders. Loch Lomond Classic Single Malt Whiskey is distilled from Scotland's finest ingredients and carefully matured before being married in our select American oak cask for the perfect harmony of flavor and aroma. The result is an elegant full-bodied whiskey with a smoothness making the single malt exceptionally easy to drink. A Highland single malt whiskey with a distinctive fruity character and peat influence resulting in a beautifully balanced single malt. Perfect any time, straight over ice or with a little bit of water. This comes from the malt master. The distillery houses four distinct styles of stills which can be combined to create a high quality range of whiskies. Using a combination of two Loch Lomond still types, we are able to create a more complex range of flavors with hints of peat and smoke. So there's a wee picture here from different stalls. I'm going to see if you can see that there. It looks to me like it's a classic um, pot still. Um, then a continuous stall. And another type of pot still, which has like a wider flume. And then another continuous type coffee still. So anyway, very interesting, Loch Lomond. So this is the classic. So there's no information here about, there's no age statement. There's no notes, tasting notes on it. Matured and finest American oak cask. Okay. So, if anybody wants to know how to open these guys, if you've never had one before, there's a little lip which you just need to, it's like a lead casing, just a little lip that needs ticked over, and you pull it off, pull the whole thing off. It's a very nice bottle, nice stag on the front. I'm really interested. Oh, it smells very nice. So, it's got quite a golden color. Like there's a bit of green in that gold. Very interesting. Um, just checking the legs. It seems quite fine. Got a nice uh, sharp fruity smell to it. Yeah, there is a slight peatiness in this. Um, otherwise, this is actually very nice. I'm surprised because 
I never thought I would, don't know why, I just had this preconception about the Loch Lomond whiskies. It is very nice. Um, I think this bottle was 22 pounds, which is very good. And we'll do the water test, see what happens. I think the water brings out more flavor in this one. So this is 40%. Okay, so in my opinion, personal opinion, this does not taste like a Highland whiskey. It tastes a little bit more like a Lowland whiskey um, with peat in it, which is not a bad thing. It's actually very nice. Um, the oil residue on it's quite minimal. It's got a lovely color. It's got a really nice taste. I would put this in a first time or dram. Definitely worth a try. It might not be simple enough for a first timer. This it's quite complex. But it is very nice, very different in my opinion. I've not had one like this, I think. So anyway, this is the Loch Lomond Classic. Uh, very nice whiskey. I would definitely buy it. If you see it in the shops, can't go wrong, in my opinion. Um, and that is it for episode 6. Thank you very much.